Hey YouTube, hope everyone's doing good. I just want to do a short and quick video showing you the Smith & Wesson M&P9 2.0 compact handgun. This version right here is the 3.6 inch barrel one. I really wanted the 4 inch one. I think it looks just a tad bit better than the 3.6 inch barrel. But um, 0.4 inches, it, it's not going to make that too much of a difference to me. So I was happy I was able to pick this one up. Right over here, I have the Performance Center MNP9, and that is a great gun. You know, once I took that gun to the range and I was able to try it out, I knew that I was going to have to get another Smith & Wesson. Now, one thing that I love that about the MNP9 is the grip angle and the grip texture. Right over here, this is my carry gun. It's a Glock 23 Generation 3, and it's a great gun. I really like it a lot. But when I have to compare Glock and MNP, you know, they're both great guns. No matter which one you pick, you're going to get a solid firearm. But, you know, aesthetically, I think that the Smith & Wesson M&P looks better than the Glock. I think that the trigger is smoother. The reset is quicker and also smoother than the Glock. And also the grip angle. You know, on the M&P 9, it's such a natural feel. It's such a natural fit. But at the same time, you know, they're both reliable. And no matter which one you choose to go with, you're going to get a quality piece. So with the Glock 23, you know, I've definitely preferred the Gen 3 models over the Generation 4s. I really don't like the grip texture that they put on the Gen 4 guns. Right here, you know, I carry it in a leather Don Hume holster. I'm not really a fan of Kydex. You know, I, I enjoy leather. It's comfortable. And it, it just what's, works for me best. Up here, of course, you know, we have the Glock 17. That's also a Generation 3. Performance Center, MMP9. But back to this one right here. I was able to pick this one up the other day, and I gotta tell you, it's it's just such a great shooting gun. And comparable to the, uh, to the Glock 19, actually, in size. So when you're looking at the compact version of the 2.0, it's gonna be about the same size as the Glock 19. And for me, that's just a perfect size, you know, for my hand size, for shooting, for ease of use. It's just an all around great gun. So I just wanted to do a quick video showing you this. You know, the finish on the slide is just perfect. You know, these guns are real top quality. I know a lot of people, they don't like the grip texture on these. And believe it's a little bit too rough, especially if you're concealed carrying. But for me, I like it to be aggressive. You know, when you're when you're shooting this gun, it really sits in your hand well. It's not sliding around. It's not moving around a whole lot. And it just has a very comfortable feel to it. Here's a close-up of the Glock. You know, the grip texturing on this, it's not bad. I like it. I like it better than the Generation 4s. But as you see, it's a lot smoother. It doesn't have as much traction to it as the Smith & Wesson does. So whatever model you choose to go with, whether it's a Glock, whether it's a Smith & Wesson, you're going to get a quality firearm. You know, it's like comparing apples to oranges between these two. And it just really comes down to personal preference. And after shooting the Performance Center, that's what really opened up my mind you know, to, to M&Ps, because when I first started shooting handguns, it was basically just all Glocks. But then after I got that performance center and I took it to the range, I was like, man, that's, I think this is my favorite gun to shoot. I really love it. I really love the ported slide on it. The trigger on these are just great. And also on this one right here, the compact one, I was surprised also, you know, um, Glock is known for having an okay trigger. It could be better, it could be worse, but for a factory trigger, it's decent. But I have to say that the M&P 9 trigger, very smooth reset, very smooth pull, a very um, all-around good gun. So I just wanted to show you a quick video of this one. As you can see, that's pretty rough texture right there. I really like it a lot. I know some people won't, but... When you're shooting it, you don't have to worry about this thing sliding around in your hand. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Just wanted to show you a quick video of what I got yesterday. 
and leave down in the comments which one you prefer. And as I mentioned, you know they're both good. I love MNP, but at the same time, I don't see it replacing my carry gun being a Glock. It's very simple looking. You know, it's easy to use. They're both easy to take down, but I think if I had to choose a carry gun, it's, I'm going to be sticking with Glock. So with that, I hope you guys have a safe uh, 2022. Um, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.